Good morning. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday and it's about half past 12. I am having, or I'm making, lunch with things that need to be eaten. Oh, this doesn't look good. The date on it is today's date and it's been in the salad drawer and it's not been opened so it should be in better nick than this. It will do. I'll put a bit of salad dressing on it. I'm having leftovers, so there's still some leftover roast potatoes from our Sunday dinner, so I'm just heating those up in the air fryer. I've got a big bunch of uh, bistro salad here. I've got some absolutely gorgeous, nice tomatoes. Um, I've got two tomato plants on the go this year, but I, haven't, I didn't want to really grow vegetables this year. I just It was just something that felt too overwhelming, so I just didn't bother. Uh, so I'm investing when I go shopping in the nice, uh, really nice tomatoes, you know, the vine ripened British ones. I really love the yellow ones especially. The, I've got a yellow one on the go in the garden, but it's some way off producing fruit. Anyway, you don't need to know any of this. I've had my ballet this morning and I've been shopping and i am just got a little bit more. Uh, I've done all the orders and printed the, sorry, I should back up a bit <laughs> in case this is your first time here. I've been passing orders from my Etsy shop. I've been selling dodgy bag pins, which are related to my dodgy bag make-along that I run with lovely Claudia. And in fact, I think today or tomorrow is the last day of that make-along. We run it every year. I think this is year five, actually, that we've run it, which is amazing to know that I've known Claudia for even longer than that online. So she's based in California and I'm all the way over here in Kent in the UK. So I've got a load of those all parceled up, weighed, all the labels are on. I've just got to seal them with some tape and then I'm going to put them in my rucksack and I'm going to walk to the post office. Um, and then I've got something in the post to show you as well. So let me finish doing my, uh, that was quite forceful. Let me finish doing my lunch and I'll show you what's arrived because I think that's going to shape my decision making on what I'm going to be working on craft wise today also going to add some roast beef to my salad. Stop talking about your lunch. I really, really enjoyed that. Get the coke out of the screen. And as you can see, I have all of my orders parceled up here, ready to go. I'm gonna go and put those in my rucksack. In fact, my rucksack is here. Uh, to head into town and post those at the parcel post box. I've got a couple of things here that arrived in the post. I know what they are and it's made me realise that I am slightly behind with one of my projects. These are from my lovely friend Suzanne at Green Lumpkin Yarn. So I am in two of her yarn clubs this year. For about the fourth year running I am getting her advent yarns. So you get three a month uh, and I put them away to start opening, obviously, an advent, uh, advent on the 1st of December. So this year her advent club is the Enchanted Forest. <laughs> Getting static and bit stuff on me. So this is uh, 7, 8 and 9 and they've got lovely stickers this year that her husband designed. Enchanted Forest. So that's lovely. I've got a Christmas uh, project bag on the go upstairs where I'm hiding these away. So by the time I get to November, I will have 24 of these to enjoy opening throughout Vlogmas, which I always upload on my other channel. And I always show my yarn advents. I also have two more yarn advents. I've gone mad this year. I'm, I, yeah, I, I, and I don't care. I spoke about them on my last podcast. I have bought the advent from Blue Fern Yarns, which is a apothecary themed it looks gorgeous and I have bought the advent from the Curated Yarn Company which is oh what's it called it's like a uh, holly um oh kitsch cocktail party kitsch or something I oh, just I love it the themes they both go in are fantastic there's so many wonderful ones to choose from but I can't I can't afford to buy them all and I certainly don't have the time to knit or crochet them all uh, anyway, all that to say, that's my advent. And the other club I'm in for this year is her secret treasure box blanket club. Now, I 
Haven't yet. I've been really good so far in keeping on top of crocheting up my minis as they come in. So the this will be the where are we now, June? This is the May minis. I've still got the April ones, and I haven't I haven't turned them into hexagons. I'm making the Weekender blanket by lovely Sandra at Cherry Heart. And normally I get that done within the month and I haven't done it. So I think any making I do today is gonna be crochet hexagons. Now I am going to open this and show you, but I'm not gonna comment on what they look like. And I will tell you when you can look away and when to look back. Okay, I'm gonna take them out now. So look away if you haven't got yours yet and you don't want any spoilers. Look away now. Close your eyes until I tell you, you can look back. And for those of you still with us, here are the four minis for May. They are so pretty. Look at this one. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love it, I love it. Right, they're hidden away now, you can look back. Nothing to see here. By the way, my new shoes that you saw earlier in this little week of vlogs uh, that I bought for my ballet, uh, much to the mockery of my family who think the fact that I'm doing dancing is hilarious. Uh, they were brilliant, I'm so glad I bought them, really, really happy with them. So I'm pleased at last to not have to borrow the instructor's spare shoes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's funny, I am, um, I am, it, you know, my family know me to be the one that's arty, crafty, and I've always been quite strong. Uh, I have really good core muscles. I, you know, got good upper body strength. I was a swimmer for a long time. Um, but dancing, everybody knows, anyone that knows me knows that I have, pers I think I have minus levels of rhythm. Um, and I fully admit that, but um, and, and ballet would not have been something that occurred to me in a million years, but oh my goodness, I I just love it. It's a ballet fitness class and I just, I can't tell you how much I love it. I have really surprised myself. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to keep going with it, despite my family laughing at me. Who knows, maybe I'll make myself, sort of crochet myself some leg warmers. <laughs> Just had dinner. Can you see how red my nose is, by the way? If you've spotted that, it's because I've got an infected bit on my nose here. It is going down, but I think I look a bit like Rudolph at the moment. I'm just listening to the very last bit of the mystery guest, which is the second Molly made mystery. And oh my goodness, it's the cutest book. So cute. And I'm just deciding if I want to have a Muller corner or see if there's an ice lolly of some kind. No contest, white chocolate mini magnum. Um, it's just oh, it's just the cutest, cutest book, but I'm gonna to have to take my earphones out because I'm going to go and be sociable. We've had a lovely dinner. It's raining, which is lovely. It's warm, raining, the chickens are happy. We've had a lovely, Dinner, I made curry. It just felt healthy and good and yummy and filling. Now I'm going to go and have my. Oh, just started playing my book. Now I'm going to go and get stuck in to my crochet. Don't worry though, I'm going to be crocheting the April ones. So if you're in the club, you will have already got these. Look at my bag. Oh my goodness, this is just epic. This is by Lizzie of this Lizzie. So if I remember, I will put a link to her underneath. She sells via Facebook. Um, she's been a bit inundated uh, for these bags recently and um, for very good reason. They've got a, it's hard to do this with one hand. You'll see it in a minute when I've got it on the sofa. I'm gonna stop talking because I want to eat my ice cream. We're gonna watch uh, Stacey Solomon sort your life out and then we're gonna catch up on Do Doctor Who.
having a little break. Phoebe's gone to get a hot chocolate. We've watched one and a half episodes of Sort Your Life Out and an episode of Doctor Who. It's half past eight. There's still half an hour to go until Zoe and Bee's on. We're having a quite a, a TV marathon tonight. We don't normally all sit and watch telly for this amount of time. I have made three hexagons with the first mini from the April, or one of the minis, the first one I've chosen from the April uh, mystery blanket box. These are all DK minis, by the way, and you get four, four? Yeah, you get four um, DK minis every month. That's really pretty. Hang on. There you go, that's better, isn't it? Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm just on the fourth one here. And I've got the pattern back. I've got the rhythm, rhythm of it back in my head. Once you get it, it's really simple. This is me for the rest of the night now. Let's see how many I can get made. Thank you. 